Hello, my beautiful little moglets, what's going on? That's actually the first time I used that intro on a Honkai video, so apologies for any confusion. This is what it is now. We have version 3.1 of Honkai Impact 3rd, featuring quite a few exciting things, mostly new battle suits, Molotov Cherry and Blueberry Blitz. The S rank Molotov Cherry is a psychic type, which specializes in dealing sustained physical damage at close to mid-range. Powerful buffs and joint attacks will be unlocked when Blueberry Blitz is also on the team. And Blueberry Blitz herself is a mech type, proficient in counter-attacking and empowering teammates. You can get Blueberry Blitz through clearing the new Chronicle and taking part in certain events, whereas Molotov Cherry, the S rank, you can buy hers at the War Treasury and the Witch's Corridor. Also, of course, starting tomorrow, they will be available in the expansion supply if you want to summon for them. Along with that, we got a new Chronicles chapter, we got a new Spring event, new weapons, new Stigmatas. So let's just go ahead and jump into the game, check out all those things. We're actually starting here, an event bonus, got some Mithril to start, and on day 7 we get a Stigmata, it looks like. Plum Rain B. 5% more ice damage, takes 6% less ranged physical damage. Uh... Okay, Blueberry Blitz Fragments on day 2, and on day 5, got some crystals, got some asteroid in there, it's all good. So let's see what we're greeted with here on the screen, lots of, uh, we have a shop down here. Okay, what is all this? I am confused already. Coming in 20 days, made of Celestia bundle? Looks like a, looks like a costume. Supply card sale, with 5 expansion, 5 focus, and a thousand crystals? Wonder how, wonder how much that's gonna be. Uh, some willpower here, 100 willpower for 300 B tokens. It's not too bad, I guess, but kinda. Here we can buy things with Asteroid, special outfit coupons, prayer slip. Oh, okay, it's just an expansion supply card. Yeah, we can't even get this stuff right now. Oh, and uh, mind stones. Yeah, I need so many of those. 60 crystals, 3 stamina potions. I think that's like a dollar's worth of B tokens or B chips or whatever. So it's not too bad either. Uh, wow, and we got a lot of other... Okay, I guess this is just actually the shop. They, uh, they moved it. So it's easier to access. You don't gotta go to supply first. Oh, wait. Yeah, okay. Smart move, Honkai. Smart move. Oh, and they have the actual B chip section. I'm not sure if I'm just blind, but I couldn't find this, and the only way I could get to this section was to try and buy something with B chips, and when I didn't have enough, I'd have to hit go get B chips, and then I get to the screen. Uh, so that's cool. So I definitely like the new shop, actually. It looks a bit more organized. 100 Blood Embrace parts for 2,000. All right. 200 Moon Wills? What the hell do you need those for? And why do I have 185 anyway? Is this... That makes no sense. Why do I have so many moon wills? Whatever. Okay, what's going on here? We have Cometa Evolved. Oh yes, we also of course have Yamabuki Armor's uh, thing. Let's look at the probability details. Okay. the There's a costume. Asteroid in here. It's kind of a decent amount of Asteroid, actually. Smelted Core. Evolve Core. Mithril. It says opening the supply crates cost core booster cards. Oh, it looks like you'll actually get this costume when you get Yamabuki Armor's Evolve Core to 4 star. So, I mean, it will get converted into 40 Hue Special Outfit tokens, but if you're gonna pull for the costume because you need the costume, I don't think that's really worth it, but, you know. Uh, okay, so you can buy the core cards with 100 crystals each, and you can only buy it on the supply screen. I don't see why they why, why the boxes don't just cost crystals. Why do you have to buy the cards and then put them in there? It's like they're not for anything else. Sounds kind of weird to me, but whatever. Oh, it looks like you can get 1 to 5 Smelted Core guaranteed in every 10 pulls, and Evolve Core in every drop. So you know how when you're pulling, we'll maybe do like a 10 pull just to sort of see how it's going, so you guys can get a better idea. Yeah, we'll do we'll do one 10 pull just, just to show off what's going on. I honestly hope I don't get the costume, since we're going to get the costume anyway. Uh, but uh, I'm just curious to see what's uh, what's going on. Okay. Got Mistral. Okay, there's our guaranteed Evolve Core. We should get one of those every time. And we got some Asteroid over there. We should be getting at least one Smelted Core as well. More Asteroid. More Asteroid. Another Evolve Core. Mithril Evolve Core. Where's our Smelted Core? Should be in here, unless I misunderstood something. Evolve Core, Asteroid, Evolve Core, oh, Yamabuki Armor Fragment, Evolve Core, uh, there's the Smelted Core, I guess one, 
Yeah. All right, so is that worth a thousand crystals? No. I mean, 12.5k asteroid is kind of a lot, but still no. I wouldn't do it, honestly, probably. Unless you like really need asteroid for whatever reason. Then I guess. See if they changed anything with the shop. What's going on here? That's all the same. Oh yes, indeed, you can buy the Evolve cores for Yamabuki armor. Uh, smelted core. Obviously gotta grab those. You need a lot of them, I believe. I don't know if I'm gonna actually buy them right now. I do use Yamabuki armor a lot, and I already invested kinda some Asterite, even though I know those were like super easy to get. She is almost six star though. I'm probably gonna hold off on six starring Blade Strike so I can focus a bit more because I'm I don't have that many smelted cores. Oh, 17. Well, it's not bad, but uh, I don't know. Yeah, we're going to buy them, I suppose. I don't know. Whatever. I'm going to buy a couple. Hold off. Oh, no. Oh, we can buy 100 blood embraces again. Oh, geez. What do I do? Here you can buy Molotov Cherry Fragment. I'm currently buying six Serenade and Phoenix, ignoring the others for now. Probably should get Lightning Impress, at least have her. But it's like 23, it's so so far away. Technically farmable, so there is that. It's just no way I can keep up with the ancient willpowers. I would have to drop six serenade probs or Phoenix. Phoenix might be close to SS, so I'll stop at that. Uh, does she get more expensive? We'll grab one. If she stays at 14, looks like she does. Oh man. Okay, let's just buy them all. I don't even know, I haven't even looked at her skills yet, but she's a great sword user and, uh, and you know, I love my Himikos. I don't really use them anymore, but they'll always have a special place in my heart. Looks like we also have an event going on because you can buy these with those. That's why I kind of held off. You know, we got a ton of those for Blade Strike. And yeah, you can also buy them in the Witch's Corridor. Oh, wow. Okay, you can buy them with just the normal ones. What? She's a natural S rank though, isn't she? Okay, well the other natural S ranks aren't in, in here anymore, but I could have sworn they require like the golden witch orbs, which you, you only get by having overflowing natural S rank shards. Gonna get those if possible, but I don't know. Oh geez, everything has expired. What? Wait a sec, all this? Man, I should really start reading patch notes again. What has happened? Do they just not have all these things anymore? The soda has expired? These, yeah, okay, those are, were just an event. Uh, okay, yeah, of course, all that stuff. Oh, all of this stuff as well, the two star stuff. Oh wait, but then it's down here again. What was this? Ultramarine Octave Outfit Coupon? Oh, <laughs> I, I don't usually buy costumes. So that's why we have so many of these moon things, the moon wills. Wait, does, oh man, that's so weird. So does that mean like those are the only upgrade materials anymore? Except for like the four star stuff. And we just got a bunch of these stigmatas. So I guess they're not gonna have like fragments anymore. Oh, look at that. We can smelt our, do our blade strike first, obviously. I mean, it is kind of expensive there in the soul shop, but she's a natural S rank. And for those, I don't think I have either of them maxed. We can check that real quick. Nah, Jingwei's wings is only at 3.1. And of course, blood embrace is only at 2.1. Could get her up, I think, almost to three or maybe to three with that stuff. Talent Bank has a different icon, but nothing looks like it changed there. Uh, here we go, here are the new events. I'm actually quite glad we have like a new a new set of things here because it was getting kind of cluttered. Ah, got the Raymond Prince here. What are those eggs? That looks like that the natural S rank eggs contain shards of the following S ranks. Ooh, okay, that's cool. Damn. Oh, oh geez. Oh my god, 50,000? Okay, but there's like three months to do that, so no problem. And yeah, you get some. Ooh, what's this? Lightning Impress costume, that looks pretty nice. Can't click on it. In this event, looks like we can get some uh, Blueberry Blitz. There's a new Chronicles as well. Let's check out Yamabuki Armor real quick. Her Augment. Uh, Obliterate Mode. Ultimate instantly attracts surrounding, ooh, so like a pull. Uh, burst Mode, shields are buffed and attacks. Something. She'll improve melee characters, combat potential, and defense against high physical something. So we can't do that yet, but I mean we could do it, I think, if we just bought the rest from the thing. That would just kind of be us being impatient though. Also, I believe we can get these from uh, difficulty 6 of Path of Apothesis. 
however you say that. This stuff here, we are currently on difficulty four, going to difficulty five soon. Of course, we can get Blueberry Blitz here. I haven't even like checked out the characters. I might actually do that in a later video since this one's already been kind of taken up. We can do like, like a quick look at them. Uh, there might be a stage we can play them as well. Here's the free one, Blueberry Blitz. Oh, she's one of the ones that has a super cheap SP cost. I mean, uh, yeah, she does kind of work on like counter attacks. She'll take up a defensive stance, retaliate. So it's almost like a weapon skill going on there. Pretty cool. I usually like to learn by just playing with them and then getting into the intricacies when I'm confused about something. That's just kind of how I roll. Uh, so we're going to go look for an event where we can actually play with them. I'm sure there is one. Blueberry Blitz Trial Stage. This will probably just teach us how to use her anyway. So let's try it. Oh, we got some new banners. Oh, are these the level 82 banners? Hold on, I have to check that real quick. Because we just had a question mark beforehand. Let's see. Yeah, boy, that looks pretty nice. I have a feeling it should be a little bit shinier, but definitely pretty nice. Nicer than any of my other ones anyway. All right, here's basic movement. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, I think. So here's just spamming the X button. That's what that looks like. Um... Cool. Charge attack. Blitz power region speeds up in this phase. All right, let's try a charge attack. That reminds me of that uh, other dude from Overwatch. What what was, what was his name? Doomfist, I think. That was like his ultimate. Uh, let's try that again. Boom. Oh, you can have it a lot quicker as well. So as soon as you release the attack button, she comes down. Oh, that's pretty fun. It's like an ultimate evasion, but like not really. It's different. That's cool. And you don't have to have like super good timing. I think it's at 1.8 seconds. So it's uh, pretty easy to do, honestly. I don't know what the consensus is on this uh, blueberry, but uh, looks pretty cool to me. I'm not sure if we can play. No, I think this is just blue. Oh, no. We can play with her here. Starting with just spamming the X button. She seems to be already quite a bit quicker. She's just like dancing around them, slicing them up. Uh, I, I think we're supposed to try evasion, which protects a protective shield. All right, they're like trapped there, they can't move, kind of like Oath of Judah's sort of AOE thing. Let's try a charge attack. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's pretty funny. Damn, that AOE. Tap and hold, okay. How long can you do that? Oh, and then she like gets kind of stunned for a while. Let's try the ultimate here. Boom. A, a nice and fast ultimate as well. Just spin on them forever. Oh wait, can we? Oh, I see. She has this like burn meter down there. Yeah, kind of like uh, the Branya's laser. Ah, and then this is them together, I guess. Of course, we got to try that out as well. I mean, they are kind of twins, kind of like supposed to be a pair, I suppose. So uh, they might have some special things. I believe they said there's going to be some special things when they're when they get together. It doesn't guide me though. I don't know. I'm just going to try doing some things. Let's spin around. Spinning around is never a bad idea. If we stop before, yeah, she still kind of stops for a second, but it's like not 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 really. Oh, I switched out, and she's like fighting with me here. You can't really see it. There's too much stuff going on on screen. But yeah, that was pretty crazy. I'm gonna try do- Or is she still here? Okay, now I actually switched out, but it looks like- Or it felt like I switched out. And then she was like, fighting alongside. I mean, you can actually see her there. Sort of. Every now and then, she like, pops up. She's like, super fast. Try the QTE. All right, let's try some of this re retaliation, I suppose. Oh, that's what uh, Fuhua over there is doing now. Uh, whoops, oh, shield is broken now. Okay, come get some. This again, come on. Boom, yeah, there we go. You can also do it at a pretty long range, it looks like. Try this again. Oh Lord, I wasn't prepared for that. Do this QTE again, maybe her ult. Oh, what the? Oh, that was pretty sick. They were there together. That's pretty awesome. But it's like if you're going for one, you kind of maybe should go for both because, I mean, 
they do seem to have some uh, some some synergy there. It's pretty unique, honestly, as well. Uh, but yeah, I think that'll pretty much do it for this little patch. First impressions, not really a review, because I'm as confused as everyone else when they first jump on. Actually, probably more so than the ones who actually read the patch notes. I mean, to be fair, I did skim through them over here in the announcements, and uh, most of it was just talking about the new heroes and then a lot of other little things in here, but it's like, that's so much text. But yeah, make sure to tell me what you think about the update, any little hidden things about it that you find interesting or important to know. Uh, like there are some more things to buy with Ast right now than I think there were before. And yeah, I mean, it's not a super easy resource to get. But yeah, make sure to leave all those thoughts and anything else in the comments down below. Leaving a like down there also would be greatly appreciated. Thanks, as always, for watching. And until next time.